What is up guys? It is Scumpy. And before we start this video off, I just wanted to give a special shout out to the person that designed my new YouTube background. Um, if you're on my channel right now, check it out. Uh, if you're on my channel right now again, uh, why don't you go and go up next to the banner and click on the C symbol. And it stands for Concursion, who is the awesome guy that helped, well, that didn't help, that did design my new YouTube background. I think it looks pretty sexy. It's got that white and blue Apex theme. Um, go follow him on Twitter and on YouTube. I'm going to have the Twitter link in the description below as well as the YouTube. And they are both just the URL and then followed by backslash C-O-N-C-E-R-S-I-O-N. -E Insurgent. Make sure you follow him. He's an awesome guy. On his YouTube channel, he'll be posting uh, Photoshop tutorials, speed arts, and uh, other various entertaining videos. So make sure you check him out, show him some love, as he did design that sexy background. Now to get into the juicy part of this commentary, and today is August 419, tomorrow being 420, the National uh, Marijuana Day, National Pothead Day, whatever you want to fucking call it. But it's a day where everyone just gets together and they smoke some happy broccoli. And just an FYI, guys, I do not smoke, so please don't ask me a million times in the video description. Do you smoke? Are you going to be smoking on this holiday? No, I'm not. It's actually my friend's birthday. I'm going to be hitting up the gym, as always. YOLO! Nah, I'm just kidding. I only say that to be a douchebag. But uh, I'm just going to be hitting up the gym, heading right to his house, and just having a great time with him and some of my other buds. We're going we're gonna to throw a surprise party for him, actually. So hopefully he doesn't check out this video, because that would... Uh, it would sort of ruin the surprise, but the fact that it's 4:20 tomorrow sort of ties in with the fact um, that my school actually had a, a lockdown, a drug lockdown to be specific, and that was about a week ago. And I'm not sure if it was in preparation for 4:20 or what, or what they were thinking. But our school had a, a lockdown, and what they did was they brought in a K K9 unit, which is pretty badass. They brought in like bloodhounds and fucking German shepherds and what they do is they just take these dogs around and they pretty much just sniff the heck out of your locker um, they don't they're not allowed to come into the rooms um, which which gets some kids out of trouble because they keep it on them like fucking idiots but yeah they they go around the lockers and then they'll call they'll call your room if they if they get any suspicious sense or anything and sometimes people, people get called down for some complete bullshit like uh, sometimes they have, like, moldy fucking sandwiches and shit and just disgusting leftover food in their locker that they forgot to take out, and they'll get called down for that. Obviously, they're not going to get in any trouble. They're just going to, they just have you come down, open up your locker, make sure you don't got any crystal meth inside of, inside of your shit. So, this was a little bit, um, suspicious to me because why would a school have a, a lockdown whenever if the results are really bad and my school is actually really good about this stuff we usually don't have too many incidents with drugs or violence or anything related to that matter but why would they have this inspection done I mean obviously they're concerned with the well-being of their students but why would they have this inspection done if it's gonna come out negatively possibly on the school itself and maybe it'll lower the reputation maybe it will decrease the number of applicants that sign up next year because we had one random drug search and a million kids got busted. And another thing that they don't do is they're not allowed to go check your cars. It's it's just like having a search warrant or whatever. Um, I'm not sure how search warrants work exactly, but you're not, they're not allowed to go inside of your car. If they can see something in your car that is drug, drug related, they can obviously go inside of it as it is not good or it's illegal to have anything relating to drugs inside of your car so I, I was just wondering and it was a little bit odd to me why they would do that but the shitty part of all of this and this whole ordeal was I got stuck in probably the stupidest class that you could ever get stuck in in a drug lockdown I mean I have a couple friends in that class a couple cool kids but the teacher is literally a psycho bitch like she's the most anti social I, I don't want to say antisocial because she's not really antisocial she's just a really big bitch face but she's just a really a really mean lady but she's young you know what I'm saying like you know how you get those teachers sometimes where they're young 
but they're just really mean for no reason. Like, she's one of those girls. And I, I don't really want to say the class that she's teaching because it could get me in trouble. I mean, if somebody were to see this shit tattle on me like a little punk bitch. But, yeah, I, I get stuck in there. And I actually, I think I just hit 80 in that, in that video thing in the top right. But I'm getting off topic. Uh, I don't, I don't want to post that, what, what class she teaches, because it could get me in trouble. Obviously, my school's pretty strict about, like, even on Facebook, they'll, if somebody reports you, they'll get on your Facebook and they'll look you up and shit. So, yeah, my school's pretty strict. Um, let me know in the comments how you're, how, actually, no, don't let me know in the fucking comments. I have something else that I want you guys to let me know in the comments about. I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you enjoy... Watching my live streams as VODs or video logs or whatever the heck they're called. But after I live stream and then I post it and then I put the parenthesis live stream. Obviously it was a live stream then. Let me know if you guys enjoy watching them because of the length. Um, I'm not sure if you guys like, if you guys can focus on it for that long because it is a really long video. Well not really a video, a really long recap of what happened. Like a five hour live stream. I don't think I've had any that long, but like a two-hour live stream, it's hard to sit there and watch for two hours straight because, I don't know, something, it's it's hard for me to watch video games for two hours straight, even if it's StarCraft, and I fucking love StarCraft. So just let me know in the comments, do you want me to keep uploading these? I haven't done, for, I haven't been for the last couple. Let me know if you want me to keep uploading them or just leave them to not be recorded and just be live streams. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments. Take it easy. Happy 420.